Hey, so today I wanted to talk about the new release of PCDMS 2017 R1. So this will just be a quick little video uh, where I've made a list of 10 new features that I've found since I just recently installed this. The first thing you'll notice is the naming convention is different. So there's no more uh, 2016.1, there's no MR1s. Each calendar year they'll come out with a release and if there's a second release it'll be called R2. Since this is the first release we have 2017 R1. The next thing you'll notice is what you see here. This is the what's new pop-up window. So as soon as you launch the software you'll get a, a chance to review what's new in this version. So that's nice because a lot of times um, you need to go to the release notes and or call our office <laughs> ask me what's what's new but uh, this will just give you a, a chance to review all the new features and uh, enhancements. Okay, so I'll close this and go to the help menu where there's another new feature. It's just access to these resources. So the release notes, the idea center, I'll just open that. So that will bring open your browser and bring you to this website where you can actually enter in ideas and speak directly to the developers of the software at Hexagon. Okay, so let's close that. Another nice new addition to the help menu is the release notes. So it's just quick access to the release notes. I often refer people to this, mostly because we have system requirements. And another new feature, or I should say a change in the software is the end of 32-bit support. So this version here, 2017 R1, will be the last time you'll be able to use it on a 32-bit operating system. So going forward, it will be all 64-bit uh, operating systems. Okay, so let's close that, and I'll just go ahead and open a program. Okay, so here we are in PCDMS. You can immediately see there's a new look to the Quick Measure toolbar. A couple new icons, one for comment, and the new caliper utility, which I'll be talking about in a later tutorial. Item number six on my list is something called Quick Features Anywhere. So what that means is when we have a dialog open, like a dimension dialog, we can use Quick Features, hold the shift key, create a circle, and you can see that we can now dimension that and create it at the same time. So this also works with constructions, so let's just, let me delete that. So if I wanted to construct a bolt circle out of all the circles around here, actually I'll just do a few, you can see it's including them in the feature list in the construction dialog. So when I hit create, I now have my constructed bolt circle. Item number seven on my list is improvements to the autoplane. So autoplane has never been one of my favorite auto features and I don't use it that much, mostly because of the editing capabilities. But that's changed now with the new user-defined path. So what that means is, so I want to intentionally go through an obstacle just to show you. So now I can just click on the model, place my heads where I like them. I can add a path. And now when I test this, it'll generate a path which we can then edit. So you can say I've intentionally gone through this cone here. So what we can do now is actually add move points in between before or after those hits. So what I'll do is right click hit one, insert a move after, after hit one. So I'll just come up 20 millimeters in the Z. And the other thing I wanna do is add a clearance move before hit number two. So I'll do the same height and you can see those two purple dots and that will be the new path. So let's test that. Zoom out there. Test. And after it runs, the new path is regenerated. That's handy. So I think I may start using autoplane more often now. Item number eight on my list is an enhancement to pattern paste. So if you look at my example here, I've got a row of circles, uh, four circles, and what I want to do is apply a pattern 
with a Z minus offset of 14 millimeters to measure the second row. So the new feature in 2017 is that we can flip the feature order by checking this box. So what that means is the second row won't go from left to right, it will go from right to left, making a more efficient program. Item number nine on my list is the last thing I want to show you within PC Demos is the new graphic items toolbar. So you can see it here. So you'll notice a lot of new icons. So this is like a show hide type of a toolbar. Um, what I like is they've added show and hide the probe for one. So you can see in my graphics window, sometimes that probe gets in the way and you might just want to quickly hide it, show it again. Also, you can hide the CAD model hide and show and the usual buttons are there they look a little different but you can now hide all the, the labels so that's always been there but the buttons just have a little bit of a different look okay so the last item I wanted to talk about was the introduction of the new shop floor interface called inspect so you can see here that it's actually a separate uh, module to the software um, it's independent of PCDMS. So let's launch it and I'll show you what I mean. So I can vouch for the fact that there's been a lot of demand for a, a type of product like this. Um, so the idea is that it will be a operator type of a software where the program itself is safe from editing. So we just want to have the operator launch the program and just simply click a button. Uh, prior to this we had operator mode, we had uh, marked features, marked sets, we had uh, protected mode, but um, so far I like the look of this one and it's a nice interface, uh, pretty straightforward. So what we do first is we actually launch PCDMS in the background. Go ahead, click this button here and it's actually opening my current version of PCDMS 2017 R1. So I'll just wait for that. So you can see here, this is the folder where my programs are stored. So I've just got a lot of uh, test kind of programs that I've been writing. Um, so I'll, I'll launch this one here. This is just a production part type of a program. And we, we're always given this warning because when I click OK, um, it's potentially the machine could start moving so we always have this warning so I'll say OK and it should launch my program so my program also includes a, a comment to the operator it's like a warning type of comment and it's just as if PC Demus was open for him um, so we when it's safe the operator can click OK and you can see here in the background that the part has been measured uh, a report is generated and you can go to the report tab and you can see all the reports and even a summary of the dimension so mine is just the offline program so there's no deviation um, if there were you could see what's out of tolerance in red what's a warning zone in yellow and green is in tolerance from this tab you can also open the report just simply click the button and there's my inspection report. Okay, so let's close that. All right, so I won't go into too much detail of this, and to be honest, it's pretty new to me. Uh, I'll do a little bit of testing on this, and in the future, I'll uh, produce a tutorial on this, and I'm really excited because I know of a lot of customers who want to use this right away. Okay, so that's about it for this video. Um, just a quick little introduction. And I just wanted to give you my take on this new version. I, I like what I see so far. A lot of major changes um, as compared to some of the other versions. Um, so I hope you uh, found that useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.